Hello. Um, I'm here on Leash Lake, out of Walker, Minnesota. Um, and my goal, we've been seeing a lot of perch. We're not that deep of water. You can see right down the hole and you can watch the fish. We've been getting a lot of perch. Um, my goal is to try catching a fish on my homemade lure. Nice little gold little jig kind of thing with the treble hook on the bottom. No bait because I want to try catching it with no bait. And I'm going to try seeing how long that takes. I got a camera set down. It's not that far. I've already caught one perch on this lure, but I want to try seeing if I can catch another one. Watch down the camera there. You're already looking at it. Whether or not they want to bite, though. Ooh, I missed him. I might have to adjust the camera. It seems like it's not aiming right. Yeah, it's not aiming right. It's aiming away. All right, take a second because I gotta adjust the camera. There's no tripod with it, so. Okay, I might not adjust the camera. Just leave it how it is. See if a fish will come and bite it. It's coming up for it. Here's a little jig. See if that changes anything. Oh. He nicked at it. He didn't get it, though. What the heck? I want a small perch, but there's quite a few perch down there. Kind of fun watching on the camera. Oh, gotta fix my reel real quick. There we go. I'm gonna pick it up out of the grass or what? Okay, I think I need to adjust the camera. I didn't think I was gonna have to, but I guess I do. You can see I'm just kind of going down there. I don't know if you guys could see that. Oh, well, maybe. Look at all them perch now. I'll try shifting the camera over just slightly. Just a smidge and I think it's good. Now it's time to start looking for some fish here. Mm. Catching some, hopefully. I try. I mean. Oh, we're gonna send that down. And he's looking at it. And ready for the bite. Never mind. Give up. Oh. You missed it completely.
Let's see if we can get one. I'm not talking much, but we can see if we can get one of these first by. That's what the main goal was. Might take a little longer than I thought. It's when I start recording is that when the perch bite stops all of a sudden. Or we got a bigger fish coming in. I don't know. A lot of small ones kind of scrambled. Hmm. I don't know. I'm waiting for something to just swoop in and just take it. Also got some little carpeted mats on the ice right now. Eight of them, I think. I just counted them. I should know. I don't know. I'll see if anything bites. Something's gonna. Maybe. Maybe that one right there. Oh, he was looking at it. He gave up. No clue. There's about 12 inches of ice. Still a lot of ice for this weird winter that we've been having. But, you know, not gonna complain. Always looking at it. We've all been looking at it. Maybe something will actually hit it this time. No clue. Well, I'm seeing them all come in. They're kind of everywhere. That one's better. That one down there on the bottom of the screen. Looks kind of good. Is it going to bite though? No. But that one might. He might. Oh, maybe this one will. Maybe he was smaller than I thought. Really, really small. Oh, he might. He might and he might not. He just keeps eyeing it down. He's not really doing anything else. He's just looking at it. Maybe he'll eat it. No. No, 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 no. Jig it up. Put down. Oh, he might. I don't know. I keep seeing a new perch show up and then thinking, oh, they're going to eat it. They're not. this one doing he's just coming up to look at the camera and say hi I don't know I think I'm gonna make a little lure switch oh no I tried for this gold lure again but I think I'm gonna try a different one
I finished up this gold lure this week, and I've already caught a fish on it, which is nice. Um, I've got a little tackle box that has all my homemade lures. So we've got this bluegill. Okay, it's terrible lighting, but that bluegill. Um, it's kind of big, but I still caught a perch on it. It was my first perch that I caught. This crappie jig. It looks like a crappie. I'm not calling it a jig for crappies, but I've caught a perch on that before. I haven't used that today yet because I was trying to get something like this. This was a newer one. It's like a cotton candy with some black on it. I can't really show it that much. Oh, maybe I can. Um, yeah, so I have this one. I have yet to catch a fish. I think I'm going to use this one next. I know this is already at 11 minutes and it's been kind of boring, but I'm just kind of fishing and seeing what happens. Um, yeah, and then you got the gold one. It's got some gold bling on there you can kind of see those two dots on the side it kind of shines in the light when it wants to at least and then yeah i don't know what this is this has got like a tomahawk blade on it for a tail and then a treble hook i could see that easily getting tangled up and i honestly don't know i mean it's gonna get tangled up but uh, i can like turn on some heat because i shut it off for the video but i am getting kind of cold because it's not that warm up It's not 50 degrees out like it has been anymore. It's been just kind of, now it's starting to drop and we've gotten some snow more recently. I'm not from Leech Lake area. I'm from down in Hinkley, Minnesota. So we're on vacation, we're up here. And then I did some bowling actually yesterday on our way up here or to Brainerd because we went to Nisswa for our vacation, so. Ended up bowling at the alley in Brainerd and shot a 484 series, which was a 152, 154, and a 178, which is an average of 161. I'm just kind of going through like what I've already done, watching that perch up there. Try to take the jig. He came in for it. That's not a bad one. There's one that's coming right up to the camera, too. Kind of laugh at this, this cotton candy looking lure got eaten first. Oh, oh, see that thing coming fast. He's like, ooh, this looks good. And then he's like up there, and it's like, oh, no, never mind. That's not that good anymore. I don't want to eat that. Oh, he nipped at it. I just seen that from the side yeah if the camera had a tripod that would have been a little better it's not my camera we rented it out because yeah Jeez, I'm going to have to adjust this camera again there's a line down in the water probably sight fishers too They look like pretty small fish. Nothing really worth trying to catch, but you know, catch a fish and be happy. I'm gonna probably adjust the camera again so I can see. Oh, you can kind of see it now. But, oh, well, there's a nice perch down there and I'm missing it. And I'm making it worse. That's fun. I think about right there. Because now you can see the lure and it's kind of centered, which is nice. Hopefully it doesn't manage to shift this way over any other way because that would be kind of annoying. And I'm getting sick and tired of that. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. There's a fish. If that's... Oh, there's one. Maybe. 
Oh, he poked at it. Yeah, everyone's out here with the ice castles all of a sudden. Kind of nice. Um, let's see if we can catch a fish with this one. 15 minute video. What the heck? Maybe if I put some wax worms on this, maybe I'd catch something. I don't want to jump to conclusions, though. I'm thirsty. I think it's coming off. There we go. I don't know how long it's gonna stay like that. It started falling. Yeah, so I have a hole there for the camera and then in here there's a hole for my knee gets out the way now. There's a whole lot of music for fishing that I have a line down in. Um, I would have two down, two holes down, or like two lines down, but um, when I tried setting a bobber down, we were catching perch left and right, so. And the ice is cracking, that's fun. One one's gonna fall again. My, uh, Phone holder's not doing the greatest job of holding the phone. Maybe this one will go for it. Hold on. Uh, let me take a second. Put this down here. Okay, let's adjust this now. I need to get an actual like tripod so I can actually do good things. Yeah. It shouldn't come off now. If it does, I'd be quite surprised. Mm. Well, let's keep at it. Go for that perch. There's plenty of them down there. Mark's probably about a hundred on the camera. So he's looking at it. He's looking at it, and he doesn't want it. Like aggressively vibrate the rod and see if that does anything. Oh, maybe it is doing something. Oh, look at him come in. Look at that one. Look at that one. He's interested. He is interested. He is hungry. Okay, I know this is very slow slow video but we're just out here we're enjoying peace there's not gonna be any loud music um we're just out here fishing kind of luxuriously this is an insulated fish house so but yeah it's kind of nice little layout i'm sitting on a bench right now enjoying life having some fun too we've caught um i've caught over 10 perch I stopped counting when I caught them left and right it was kind of just a lot of oh I'm gonna be done kind of, I think I've seen this perch before because it's got that same mark on its head let's see if he wants to eat it and he turned away oh and look as soon as that happens another one comes in he looks too small to eat it because he probably is Mm-hmm. 
Well, it looks like nothing is gonna bite. Oh, maybe he will. That's a chance. Oh my gosh. Oh, would you look at that? We finally got one. There we go. I got one. It took 20 minutes to get it, but that's how the way it goes. I'm actually going to actually, all right, there you go. I'm going to take a picture of it because it's the first fish I caught with the lure, so, um, there you go. 21 minutes, well, 20 minutes and cut a perch finally after seeing them all on the camera finally got one to eat um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video just kind of a relaxing laid back video it's kind of longer but you know i caught fish and we're gonna go see you next time